it's not winter now. Mimi! Hey! Are you being a jerk? <laughs> oh my goodness, you are! Busted! <laughs> You may have noticed that we are down to five goats now. We actually found a, a new home for Mercedes and Ben's. They were bonded, so we wanted to send them together. And uh, we had some friends that we've been talking to online for a few years now. They're also living off grid. They're about eight hours away from us. So we packed up the goats and took them to the, their new home. And we just know that they are getting so much love there and they have three big guardian dogs that are gonna be protecting them. I've got goats chewing on me. And, uh, okay, Onyx, go! So we're just really happy that our friends wanted to take them. They're gonna be milking Mercedes in a few months. And I know that they love them already. We're gonna link their YouTube channels down below. They've just started out on YouTube. So they are gonna be posting videos about their off-grid property. They have some really cool, projects we've actually taken a ton of inspiration from them they've got a root cellar an above ground root cellar a passive solar greenhouse and those are things that we want to build as well so yeah i'm going to link their information down below if you want to go check them out we are back we tried really hard to get this siding done on this wall but we just didn't make it last time in the last video the big wall was very scary and high up. So it just took quite a bit longer than we anticipated, but it's okay, we got it done. And now we're on to the easy part. So yesterday we didn't film anything, but Greg was working on the metal around those windows. And we actually ran out of metal. We thought we had enough to do the door as well upstairs, but we didn't. So he went out super early this morning to the metal shop and uh, got that metal bent up. We just have a little bit more prep work to go before we can start getting the siding on. We need to prepare the spots for the lights and the outlet that's upstairs. And we've got a tap as well for a hose. So we've got to get the backing for those all made up. We've got to stain the wood trim for around all of those. We've already got the trim around the doors and the windows done, so that's dry and ready to go. Hopefully by today we can get this siding done because once we get the boards going up, we're going to be moving pretty quickly, but maybe tomorrow. We'll just have to see how it goes. So on the edge here, we have a tap. It's one of those frost-free taps that goes into the wall. And of course, when we installed it, we weren't really thinking about siding. So I was hoping that we could get it 
pull it out a little bit from the wall just to fit the trim back there, but nope, <laughs> not happening. It's stuck where it is. And then we'll put flashing around it, I think. And then we can just do what we did around the uh, chimney. And then go like that. So about right there, which is good. And then we have enough room for the bottom. I'm gonna tuck this underneath here like that. And then I'm gonna just catch this with our trim that comes down. Hmm. I've been thinking about a beer too, personally, for myself. Oh, what about the black on top? Do you fill that in? I'm gonna I don't want to do siding anymore. <laughs> you have to. We're just about there, but I'm I'm ready to do something else. You know what I mean? Let's get a nice. We're doing a fairly large section of the metal there because we want to have enough room underneath that if you're trying to screw a hose on or whatever, it's you're not gonna be hitting the trim, it's not gonna feel too tight. So it's a little bit different, I guess, not normal, but it's what we gotta do to make this work. And if you're installing a frost-free hose, bump it out a little bit for when you put siding on. I tell you, these rags, you don't know who was in them. I'm guessing this was a trucker. We got a pull up. I have these happen. I'm, I'm, no, I'm no better than anyone else. Got a pull up rip. Red, white, you and blue. A little, a little butt crack. This has been on some other man's butt. <laughs> now I'm going to wipe stuff with it. Ugh. Juniper's having a sniff. Juniper, tell me what's up. Please tell me there's no stains in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Well, I'm totally sacked for the day. Look at this mess I've got in my life here. Oh. I've got the flashing ready. We've gone up to here so that we know what to line up to for with our next boards. So tired. Um, I've got the electrical outlet installed and we're gonna test it right away. I only have two lights to install, two light pods. And that's for tomorrow, cause I am beat. I've gone up and down this damn ladder probably 200 times today. So see you in a moment. Look at that. <laughs> what do you think of that, boo boo? You don't like it, boo. You don't like that. So, we get a lot of turkey eggs and nobody will eat them and nobody will buy them from me. So, I'm just starting to cook them up with a bunch of chili flakes or chili powder because that can prevent worms in the chickens. So, this is so brown because of how much chili I have in there. But these are our 12 turkey eggs. <laughs> I think the chickens are gonna like it. I mean, that looks good. It smells awful. I don't eat eggs. <laughs> yes! Come on, chicken! 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 Come on,
Silky Boy, you better go tell your girls that there's gonna be some food over there. Come on, buddy. Oh. Are you gonna come get some? Are you gonna come get some food, Brittany? You made it. Eat that, Fancy. Yum, yum. A good rooster always shares his food. Well, I don't even remember what we said earlier in this video. We ended up taking yesterday off, so we didn't get the siding finished. We didn't get it finished the day before. Today, we will finish it, though. Are you we promising will. me? Yes. Yeah, it's today's the day. There's really not much to do. So we're going to get the top piece of trim done and installed. And I think Greg already has all of the trim blocking around the lights and the outlets and stuff done. Um, so we should be able to just slap up some siding. Just about, John. Should have known better than that. Sleepy puppy.
Katie, it's gonna snow. So pretty. Well, we found the other half of the shorts. <laughs> Those are underwear. Oh, maybe they're shorts. Maybe they're shorts. Still greasy. Finally got the siding finished. Of course, we're 98% done because we still have to do the other side, but it doesn't make sense to do that until the addition is built and we have the roof there to stand on instead of having ladder jacks. So we'll just wait. We have one row of full siding boards left from the pallet and quite a bit of off cuts. So it's going to be close, but I hope that we have enough to get the job done on the other side. And then on the lower part of the addition, we'll do something different just to kind of switch it up a little bit, give it some character, but it looks so good. We absolutely love it. Hey, 
Nebby! <laughs> He's biting it. Nebby! Don't do that. Hey. You're running one of the chainsaws, though. It's this guy. Ooh, puddle water. Yummy. This morning we have a friend coming over. We're gonna start taking down some trees around the soon to be goat barn, the old sawmill structure. So we just wanna get these trees down before we start building anything over there and before the grass is trying to grow because we're running the tractor over, it's kind of messing up the ground a little bit. So the sooner we do it, the better. We're gonna get these trees down, get them processed down to size for milling so that we can start building with the lumber out of them. Um, I want to get a big pile of chips ready or a big pile of branches ready for chipping. That's over half an hour, I'm guessing. I mean, it's definitely a big swing, like... It's a Lemon squeezy. Sweet. Sharp. Yeah. Sharp is safe. What? Sharp is safe.
What's the temperature? It's minus two. <laughs> it's cold though. Double socks, double pants, the I've biggest got, gloves, yeah. three sweaters, okay. and a big jacket. I've got one pair of pants on, but I have long johns, of course. Well, double so, pants then. It's not. Go outside. <laughs> It's a beautiful sunny day, but it is so windy and it's so cold from the wind. At least it feels really cold because it's been so warm lately. So we're not quite used to it being below zero. It's only like minus two, maybe feels like minus four, but that wind it sucks. So we are going to continue cleaning up the trees that we took down. We have a ton of the larch piled up already and there's a bunch of firewood cut up already so i gotta move the firewood over to near the woodshed so that it can start drying out we've got tons over by where our goat barn is going to be um we want to get all the branches piled up and just ready to get chipped so we have a ton of work we're just going to try and do a little bit because it's so cold out and then might have to take a break and warm up inside So Greg wanted to wait and get a fancy name brand pole saw, but I went ahead and bought a cheap one on Amazon and it's doing just fine. I will put a link to it in the description. I kind of went for the cheapest one, I think, just to see how it would go. So this one has two batteries. I got to do some research and figure out how to maintain the little saw, but like this is perfect for doing fire abatement around here. I want to get rid of all these low branches that can be ladder fuel for a fire if a fire ever went through any of these lower branches will catch on fire and then it, the whole tree will go up so with this i can take out quite a bit of those low branches that's kind of fun too Got all the leaves in it, man. Don't touch the camera. Play guess the two by fours. How many two by fours do you think we can get out of this? I don't know. Forty. Nice. I'm guessing. Come on, Alex. 
reunited with his love. You can see all these holes in the wood. This tr these trees were all getting attacked by bugs and they had mistletoe, so they were dead. The snacks for little pests.
trouble. Here comes trouble. Just messed up my chain. Oh no. Good thing we got through all of that work yesterday. We got a fair bit done. Still a little bit to do, but snow is back. So we're gonna wrap up the video here. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one.